Welcome to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint from Zero to Hero, module 4.4, onboarding via helper script. If you have been facing some troubles when onboarding devices, then this is the right video for you. First, I want to share some of the issues I found when implementing complex projects, and then how you can prep the onboarding, and finally, how you can use the onboarding via helper script. Anyway, let's dive into it. Before diving into the helper script, let me share an issue I found on hundreds of servers 2016. The problem was the following. I had the servers where the Defender feature was installed, but because there was another antivirus, a third-party antivirus running, the Defender service was stopped. When I tried to install, when I tried to install the MD client to support the onboarding, the installation didn't work because the AV definitions, they were too old. That's because the, basically the service was not running. And then I thought, okay, let me try to start the service. And then when the service is running, it would go to the internet and download the latest definitions. The problem was when I tried to start manually the service, it didn't work because again, the definitions, they were too old. I even try to download the AV definitions manually and try to, to install them offline. And then it didn't work because the service was not started. And then I couldn't start the service because the definitions, they were too old. The only solution I found that time was basically to uninstall the Defender feature, restart the server, and then install the Defender feature again, and then eventually I had to restart the server again to get everything running. That was the way I found, but of course I didn't want to restart twice hundreds and hundreds of servers. And then th that was the time when I did a bit of research and came across the, uh, that kind of magic script. Anyway, now let me show, let me dive into a virtual machine and let me show all the steps you can do in order to do the onboarding using the helper script. Okay, let me first dive into the virtual machine. Uh, just to double check here a few things before I start. The device uh, server 2016 I'm about to onboard via this special script, as you can see, is a uh, server 2016.06. Just to prove to you or to show to you the uh, that server is not yet onboarded. Yeah, as you can see, I have a bunch of servers. Uh, server 2019, 2012, I have a server 2016.05, but as you can see, the server 2016.06 is not here. Okay, in order to do the, the onboarding using that script, here is the cookbook, let, let me call. Okay, the first, what I need to do is to download the, the, the client, and then I need to download as well the onboarding script. Uh, share in a file, and then I need to download the helper, download the platform update, and then finally I can run this script. Anyway, let me show every single step. Step number one, let me go into the security.microsoft.com to download the onboarding pieces. From here, I need to click on settings, and then you click on endpoints, and then finally, let me jump straight into the onboarding. Click in here because my problem is on server 2016. Actually, I got a problem on server 2012 as well. And then the procedure is the same. Make sure you select Windows Server 2012 and 2016. Click in there. Okay, and here, very important is the following. You could try using the local script, but the local script in theory supports only up to 10 devices. This is why the best way to do is to get the onboarding script from the Grow policy. Don't forget that. Okay, and then here, first of all, let me download the MSI, the, the MD client. Let me just download this guy. Uh, yeah, the download has started. And then here, let me download the onboarding package as well. Click in there. That should be, you know, quick enough. Okay, that looks good. Now, if I dive into here, what I really need to do, uh, the MSI is still downloading. From here, just quickly extract the file. Uh, oops, that's a little bit small, but yeah, anyway, let me just get rid of that. Downloads, yeah, and then extract. Okay, that's fine. And then the only file I need from here, don't worry about that folder. The only file I need from here is the onboarding script. 
let me just copy that file into yeah let me just go back to my the, yeah let me keep for the moment into the downloads folder okay let's keep in there and then i don't need the i don't need the zip file anymore okay that's fine so far is fine i have my uh, msi installation packet there in my onboarding script in here as well okay step number one is done now step number two i need to download the helper script and then i need to go to github please find all of those links uh, from the video description let me now just open a new tab in here and paste that okay uh, initially i was a bit worried in regards you know if uh, an enterprise company could use this script but actually this script was created by microsoft and you know then there is no problem at all yeah you can you know take your time later on to navigate on the page to get a bit of more information about uh, this script and then here as you can see there are some steps some examples sorry how you can do the onboarding and so on the let's say the interesting trick is if you put all the supporting files into the same folder and then by the time you run the script you can do the onboarding do the the platform update and install the md client everything in a single shot using that script this is why i just want to gather all the information on the same place let me download the file now if i click on code yeah that's the place download zip and yeah there you go now if i go back to my folder yeah i should be able to see yeah here is the the zip file let me just quickly extract and yeah let me just extract there and yeah same story just to make sure everything works as expected the best thing to do is to just keep all the files into the same folder okay that looks good now the next step i need to do let me just double check my cookbook in here okay that's done okay you know this is not a, a kind of a must if you don't install the platform and then what's happening is after the onboarding the server or the, the yeah the server needs to basically go to microsoft and download the av definitions they are you know small enough and download the platform as well just to buy a bit of time and to avoid my kind of internet link to be overused why not to download the platform and do as a part of the installation okay let me copy that link same story let me just go here and then download this file yeah there you go uh, usually it's around 10 megs let me just double check again if i go in here yeah as you can see the file is in here um how to call yeah update platform yeah as i said around 10 around you know 10 max or less okay that's pretty much it now the next step what i need to do is just run the script before that let me just move those files let me copy everything from here the to be honest you know the folder really doesn't matter let me just create a quick folder in here let me call it, uh, uh sorry i have a temp folder here already let me oh yeah it's empty let me just copy and and paste all the files in there okay these are all the supporting files you need now the la the last bit is the following i decided to run the installation in here if i'm installing a server where there is a third party antivirus already installed and then the idea is first for you to install as passive give a bit of time make sure all the, uh, the telemetry are fully populated all the av definitions are populated and then eventually you uninstall the third party av and then make your system as passive if you are onboarding a server uh, and the server doesn't have any other third-party AV and then actually you don't need to onboard as passive that's my case at the moment and then this is why let me just remove as a passive I want to onboard my server straight away on MDE as active okay just to save a bit of time of course you need to double check if the onboarding script file name matches with uh, here I believe so and then what I need to do is just kind of you know copy that bit and then make sure let me just start from the scratch in here make sure you open up as a administrator run powershell as administrator click in there now let me just dive into the folder 
there you go and that's pretty much it now if i just copy and paste the installation file the install.ps1 is exactly that helper script let me hit enter and now let me just double check I never run okay run i really want to run always run okay okay now what's happening behind the scenes is microsoft is doing a bunch of uh, checks and this was the script that managed to fix the installation problem i had on that server 2016. let me just click on install in here and then eventually if everything goes well in a few minutes i should be able to see this server fully onboarded with the platform fully updated as well and i don't have the av definitions uh, on the folder and then it's going to take a few minutes in order to download the latest av definitions and then i'm really ready to go okay that saves a lot of time as i was saying before and especially from a, if you are implementing a complex environment it will save a lot of uh, restarts from the servers because you don't need to, as I told you before, you really don't need to remove the feature, restart the server, install the feature again, restart the server and so on. This script will do all the, the kind of dirty work if, the, if there are any problems. Uh, just for me to, to buy a bit of time, I got not too many problems, but in a few servers 2016, uh, sorry a few servers 2012 the scenario was a little bit different when i try to install yeah when i try to install the, the 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 md client and do the onboarding it didn't work the client didn't work and the message i can't really remember but the message was something related no writing permissions into the folder from the folder where i was running the installation I checked the, the permissions, I had full read and write, full control, I was local administrator, and again, you know, a bug that somehow was blocking installation. When I run this procedure on those servers 2012, again, everything worked, you know, straight away. Okay, from here now, what I can do is quickly, oops, that's wrong, uh, quickly what I can do is get MP computer status okay that's a very useful command if i hit enter i can check a couple of things first of all is the um, the product version or in other words is the platform by the time i'm recording this video 4.18 is a good one okay is updated and i can't really remember here the what's the latest one but yeah you know that's the latest one because i just i just downloaded it uh, when it comes to the running mode yeah when it shows as normal and then it means this defender for endpoint is running as active okay because as you could see a few minutes a few seconds ago i didn't onboard as passive if you onboard as a passive you will see here the mode as edr block mode yeah edr block mode it means is a passive very important as well is in regards to the signature update as you can see now uh, yeah today is 30th of march and then it means it's fully updated the last update was around you know 1 pm and same story from the virus virus signature yeah it's fully updated yeah this will be the the a few important things for you to check yeah platform is fully updated uh, if it's passive active depending the onboarding you picked and then very important as well if the av definitions uh, are anti spyware and the av definitions are fully updated at least you know from the day you are doing that there are so many other things in here but anyway that would be the the good ones for you to check straight away okay now the next thing to do is um, again you know I, I might need to stop the video to give a bit of time for the server 2016 06 to be presented in here it can take five you know 10 30 minutes sometimes but anyway let me see let me just refresh this page and then i might be able to see the server here already otherwise i will uh, just pause the video to buy a bit of time anyway let's see how things work but as you saw you know the process is not too complicated and if you have any other tool to do the automation like system center you can do the automation push all that folder and run that script via via system center anyway let me see 
Uh, yeah, there you go. And believe it or not, is all done. As you can see, my new server is in here, server 2016.06. Yeah, you know, it's running from a work group. Uh, uh, is fully active. Now, if I click on that server, if I click in there, of course, uh, now it's going to take, can take uh, uh, actually up to 24 hours in order to have all the other details fully populated but the most important the server now as you can see is yeah fully onboarded it took uh, five minutes I, I think or even less than five minutes and everything looks good of course later on i need to come back to to get all the information regarding to for example what's the software inventory in this device what are the discovered vulnerabilities and so on but for now what i really wanted to share is let me just go back what i really wanted to share is this uh, I, I can call magic script that saved a lot of time for me when I'm implementing a complex a project and here are the steps just make sure you download the installation packet the onboarding download the the help script download the latest platform and here is the command for you to run to do the onboarding okay anyway this is what I wanted to share Anyway, that was my onboarding via helper script module. If you enjoyed this video, please give a quick like, subscribe my channel, follow me on LinkedIn and get ready for the next module. Thanks for watching.